Welcome to Obsidian. Let's improve your notes. All right, g'day guys. Happy New Year and welcome to 2024. Today we're going to start off this year with a bang. We're going to jump into a Welcome to Obsidian for TTRPGs video. We're going to showcase the tool, show you what's changed and give you an idea of what's possible. If you're new to this tool, then this is the video you want to start with. And then from there, you can expand your knowledge and horizons and you can make amazing notes for your whether it's behind the screen as a dungeon master, or maybe you're even a player, but this is a fantastic tool for taking notes and improving your TTRPG games. Or maybe you're a world builder and you want something to document your world. This is a fantastic solution. So let's jump in and let's have a look. Okay, so what is obsidian.md? All right, it is basically a notepad text application. Right, let's be honest, it's just for taking notes. At the simplest level, it's a very simple application. All right, um, but it has all of this cool stuff, like the ability to link between your notes, uh, the ability to visualize your notes with graphs, the ability to lay your notes out in a canvas style. All right, there's community plugins, and trust me, you're gonna to wanna to know about those. Um, there's a ability to sync. This is a paid subscription service, I will say that, but there's methods to um, sync without the paid option as well. You know, you might just use Google Drive or OneDrive. Um, and the ability to publish your notes at a, as a website. So if you're into TTRPGs or maybe you're a world builder and you wanna make some notes available for other people, you can do that through Obsidian Publish. Uh, again, there's alternative options that don't cost a subscription fee for that. But the core application is completely free for you to use. You can come here to obsidian.md and you can download that straight away. All right, you can see it works on Windows. And if we jump in here, it also works on iOS, Android, Mac, and Linux as well. So all of your prime platforms are covered. So you might as well jump in and start downloading that. All right, and let's show you what this tool can do. All right, so in front of me, I have a brand new vault. You can see on the left here, I can create folders. Inside of those folders, I can create notes. And then from those notes, I can actually start to link to my notes. All right, you can see here, I can now click and go to my welcome note, or I can go here and I can do a link back to my note. And over here on the right, you can see the graph view is already picked up the fact that I've created that link there. All right, it's, it's just a notepad, all right, but it's marked down. And what that means is I can make titles, I can write text, all right, I can make some of that text bold if I want to. I'll just press Control B. If I want to make something italic, so I can do Control I. All right, and obviously if I want to do a link, I can do my square brackets and I can just link between notes. I should probably turn my caps lock off. Um, but at the base level, that's Obsidian, right? That's what it does. But let me show you what it can do. Okay, boom, welcome to Obsidian for TTRPGs. This is obsidian.md with a few slight modifications, just a small ones. All right, I have turned this into a campaign management vault, all right, and I can help you learn how to do the same thing if you're keen on learning how to use this tool. Let's jump in and have a quick look at what it can do. This is my homepage. Every time I click a plus button, it opens up this page and I can see all of the, the big primary links that I use in my campaign. I've got some lists of my characters, mod recently created or modified NPCs, recently modified locations, recently modified notes, and I've got a tracking here of all my session journals so I can quickly go through and find the notes um, for a session, you know, and what occurred. And, you know, some of my notes are better than others, as you can see. I'm picking up some real winners. Um, but, you know, you can do what you like with it. Let's jump in and let's have a look into a map. This is a map. Look at that, we can zoom, we can go in and out. Notice that I've got different zoom levels for different icons and I can uh, come in here to those icons, I can hover and I can see the notes that are linked. In this case here, check this out, I can actually see the travel days in between different locations. I've got it configured so I can do that. Check this out though. If I go here and go party configuration, we can actually come here and say, well, we're actually going to ride a saber-toothed tiger. And if we go back to our note, 
it actually automatically updates to show me how long it's going to take my party to travel on a saber tooth tiger like how cool is that all right that's maps we can link those two things uh, i like to use this it's called excaladraw this is basically a visualization tool all right it lets me map out really easily what's happening in my world and i can keep track of all the things I've got these nodes all over the place. They're linked to notes. I find this super useful for like graphing out my brain. Um, it's just a nice way to lay my ideas out. And I like that I can lay them out however I like and keep track of my campaign. You know, where all the bad guys are, who they are, what they're doing, what they're wearing, where they are. It's very, very helpful. All right, let's go back. Here's the module. I put all my modules in this tool. You can see here that we've got a module and to be completely frank, I was using dark view because the video title was dark, but you know, let's just swap that. Let's jump over to appearance and change that to light view. Oh, that's a bit of a shock to the system. Uh, that's a bit better for my eyes. As you can see here, I have a full blown adventure copied into this tool. And I like that because it means I can make changes to the notes and I can add whatever I like. All right, let's have a look at stat blocks. Do we have stat blocks? Of course we do. You can see down here, not only do we have stat blocks, but we have stat blocks that are linked, all right, to all of the rules and spells that would be basically used inside. If you're playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition, or you're looking to play Pathfinder 2nd Edition, this is absolutely fantastic, because what it means when you're learning that game is that all of those rules that everyone's afraid of, right, they're all linked straight here all right very very easy for us to do um that's a three minute import process all right let's kick off some combat we've got this button here boom we now have a party initiatives being rolled it's all in order on the right hand side i can click that stat block and i can see that on the right how easy is that if i want to apply some damage i can just say that guy took 20 health there we go if we want to apply a status effect maybe they've been charmed all right, we now get to have this really good tracking of how that's going. And if they die, you know, we could remove them. All right. Um, there's also, though, if you've got a second screen, a player view. So you can actually have that visible for your players so they can see who's next in the uh, initiative order. All right. And, you know, for those of you going, I want to roll dice. Well, that's easy. You can actually just come in here and go, this guy rolled a one. Is that the right one? Yeah, this guy rolled a one. No, I'm putting it back. There we go. I've got all monsters set to go at the same initial level, so it's not letting me do that. All right, so we've got combat. We've got linking between notes. I've even got it set up so that every time I link to certain types of notes, I can actually have little icons on them. All right, so I can see that this is a spell. I can see that there's a monster linked here. It's nice and easy for my eyes, so it draws out those changes. I find that quite beneficial when I'm playing a game. Um, but I find, as you can see here, like this makes running monsters a lot easier like a lot easier um yeah i don't I, I can't use stat blocks out of the monster manuals anymore that's just not going to happen um all right we've got character sheets if i actually jump in here grab aria check this out we have D, &D beyond live syncing into this tool if you're playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition, you can do the same thing with Hero Lab Online, or you can do it with Demiplane. Um, and you can see you can get the latest of your character sheets in this tool directly without you having to do any extra effort for that to happen. Uh, for those of you who want to keep track of more data though, you can see here I am keeping some stuff up in the properties of a note. Properties is a place where you can store variables and values about a note. In this case here, I'm getting the HP and the AC, for example. And the cool thing about this is when they're added to initiative over here, it's pulling that information from over there into that initiative tracker, which makes life so much easier. All right, so we've got combat management, step block support, we've got links, we've got all this sort of stuff going on. Let's come through, let's have a look. Uh, can we make templates? Yes, we absolutely can. Check this out. All right, so here on the left, I can drag in any notes I want to make things tools, useful 
things that I'm going to use. So here I have my DM board with a list of my players showing all my player AC and their passive perception, which is obviously useful. I get a unique list of all the, the languages that are known by my party, all right? That's unique, so I know, you know, if they're speaking to someone, what they know. But in uh, terms of actually coming here and having a look at my uh, templates, let's see what we can do. Well, let's build a new location. You can press a button. All right, we can see the location comes up, and this is Fred's Town. That's now Fred's Town. We've got a template that's been applied to this note automatically, and it's even put that note in the right folder according to where I want all of my settlements to actually go. All right, you can see I've got a fairly complex template here, to be completely honest. You don't need to go this advanced if you don't want. Um, and you know, it's uh, relatively easy to use. If I want to grab a picture, let's say, uh, that's actually a link. Can we grab a picture? Grab a picture that I want to put in my note. We can come down here and we can just paste it. There we go. That's how easy it is. Uh, I've got lots of plugins going on here, but I can resize my image if I want. All right. All right, uh, what else have I got in my buttons here? Well, I've got some more information for my players, right? I like to keep track of their HP, their modifiers, their wisdom, right? All of that sort of stuff is visible to me. Here I've got my DM screen. Now this is my vertical DM screen. You can see that I've actually got some information here for keeping track of different effects. Uh, but if I want to expand my abilities out or my conditions, right? I have those there. Now, don't forget as well, that when I'm um, using this stuff, usually it's linked in my notes already, all right? Because I can actually come over here to a note, check this out, and I can just type, the orc is flanked. And that's flanking the goblin, goblin boss. All right, I've got automatic linking set up using the various compliments plugin um, that's automatically linking through to the notes that are associated with those words that I'm typing in. That is incredibly useful for typing your notes efficiently. All right, you don't have to stop and think about this sort of thing. Now you can insert templates into any of your notes. So like what I commonly do is go insert, uh, let's go call that box. This is a trap. All right, so we got call out boxes, um, insert monster. We can come in here and type in a monster and we get a stat block. All right, how easy is that guys? It is so simple to use. Um, it does take a little bit of setting up. I'm not gonna lie, right? You don't just jump straight into this, um, but I do have a Patreon vault. Um, so if anyone would actually like to jump into this tool, um, I do have a, uh, another vault available through my Patreon um, that basically gives you a foundation of um, sort of all the plugins that are pre-configured for you to use. So you can come in here and you can basically have a look and see how I've done things. You can take a copy of this and use it as a foundation for you to add your notes into. You can change the way it looks, you can change your templates, all right? and you might just want to use this as a foundation starting point for you. Here's a good example of another way to do a DM screen. This is using the Kanban plugin. All right, you can see you can actually have these and when this is working, this has all of the notes linked here as well. And obviously you can add your own notes to this thing. All right, uh, we also have, for those, don't get angry at me, I'm sorry, AI support. Uh, so let's go, please create, well actually I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go in. Let's generate a fantasy in. AI people, it's actually not that fast. All right, here we go. The inn has completed. We have a name, we have a description, we have an innkeeper, we have a menu, we have some meals, we have some patrons, we have some rumors. Now check this out. Let's go control I and I want to make an image. It should create us a picture of Madame Serafina Blackfeather. Uh, what is she? She's got long raven black hair and piercing emerald eyes that seem to see right through you. Oh, here we go. We have the first version of her. She looks a little bit witchy, if I'm honest. I wonder what the next one's gonna be. 
So it's creating two images. All right, there we go. We have an image uh, that spits straight out from the AI tool. All right, and now we can use that. We can keep going on with your day. If you don't like to use AI, of course, you don't need to use it. This is all third party and optional, and you can add in whatever you want or not add in whatever you want. You could just go to Google and copy other art, or you could pay someone and just paste it into the tool. Completely up to you. All right, so we've got that. Now let's jump into a pretty popular feature of Obsidian. I don't personally use this, and you're about to see why. Uh, it can be quite slow, but this is Graph View. All right, and Graph View is a way to visualize your thinking. Basically, it takes all of your notes and wherever you have connected your notes together, all right, it shows you a connection. Now, I have too many notes, way too many notes. Um, I haven't created these all manually, by the way. This tool is very easy to import data in with, like you can do bulk imports very fast. It takes me like two minutes to add 15,000 notes to my vault. All right, that's, it's not a stretch. We have tools for doing that. Um, but, oh, here we go. This is my vault. This is all the links between my vault. And if we come in here, we can see all of the notes and all of the links to all of the other notes between those. Some people find this really useful, mainly the world builders. I don't find the TTRPG guys getting too excited about it. I don't get too excited about it because like, look at it. It's a cancerous growth, if I'm completely honest, um, that I don't have a lot of control over, but it is fun to look at. Yeah, it's fun to look at. All right, now this tool also has PDF support, just to so you know you could drag your PDFs and store them in your vault. Um, and what that would effectively allow you to do is open up that vault um, and have a look uh, at a PDF. You can link to certain pages of your PDF. Um, that's all very easy to do. Um, but I thought it's worth showing you guys what a vault is. All right, you hear us talking about it, and this is a really powerful feature of Obsidian. It's just folders. All right, if we have a look back here, you see my folder structure here. And if we open this up here, you will see it's almost exactly the same. DM screen, DM screen, scratch notes, scratch notes. Inside of my scratch notes, I have my AI test. Inside of my scratch notes, I have my AI test. It's just folders and text files, all right? I've got some test notes here, as you can see. It's just text. All right, but obsidian.md is an application that sits over the top that makes those text files look pretty. Here's my columns test though, my note. All right, you can see, nope, not that one. We've got a columns test here. We've got this, all right, and if we come down here, we can see this is the properties of the note. Anything between these is considered properties and it's word for word, note icon, settlement, note icon, settlement. That's all it is, guys. And that is incredibly powerful because it means you can store your notes anywhere using any method that you normally would. Say you want to sync your notes to your mobile phone. You could just store your vault on something like Google Drive um, or GitHub is what I use. Or you might use a um, maybe a, a networked folder over your internal network. I do that as well. There's lots of options to sort of host your vault. Um, but there's also the ability, if you want, um, and this is a paid service particularly, right, is to publish your vault. So I can publish my vault, all right? I can publish those notes through to a website, and then we can jump over to that website here. We can jump in here, and this is what a published site looks like. Now, this is my website, guys. If your appetite has just been wet with what I've shown you now, and you want to learn this tool, all right, this is the site I recommend because it's my site. Let's be completely honest. But Obsidian TTRPG Tutorials.com, I've got everything in here for you to learn how to use this tool. All right, you can come here from getting started, go through everything to learn how to create notes and folders and set your vault up basically. And then once you're done with that, jump into plugin tutorials and you can go through and find the functionality that you're interested in. 
right? Because there's things that I haven't shown you here in this video because there's not enough time, but you know, fantasy custom calendars or timelines, for example. Now, if you're watching this video and you've come from trying this tool before and you're going, you know what? There's some things I didn't like, like the ability to create tables. Well, I just do want to do a call out, but now this is how we create tables. All right, look how easy that is. We can add columns, all right, and we can cut and paste, all right. It used to be challenging, all right, just to show you what that looks like in Markdown. That's the challenging version. We don't have to do that anymore. We now have fantastic support for tables, all right. We also have the ability, and actually I think I've got a test here, uh, to have canvas all right this is a canvas uh, this is built into the tool um, and effectively what you can do is you can drag notes into here all right drag them around you can join them up all right you can label your joins all right um, this is a very useful tool I use another version of it, actually I showed at the start of the video, um, I, I use one called Scala Draw, but this is certainly an option. This has been a, a pretty big improvement in 2024. They're trying to make this tool easier to use, and if you check the roadmap, all right, you can see what they're working on next, and what is dynamic views? Create dynamic tables using data stored in note properties. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like data view. Is data view coming to Obsidian natively? Are they gonna grandfather the original data view and replace it with some official support? That would be absolutely fantastic. But I guess it's a watch this space and we will find out later in 2024. All right, anyway, I'm starting to lose my breath. Um, I don't think that there's probably too much more that I need to show you. The tool is cool. I recommend you use it. I really should show you Metabind. Yeah, let's show you Metabind. Metabind is this new plugin that lets you have input fields in your notes. All right, check this out, right? I can have buttons. How cool is that, All right? That's Metabind. Imagine what you can do, guys. People are trying to make player character sheets and calculators and trackers like here's a dc calculator for example all right if you're playing pathfinder you can literally come in here i'm going to remote uh, we can change this to common all right we can set the cr level all right it tells you what the recall knowledge dc is like that's cool uh, complex crafting uh, calculator for the pf2e guys like there's all sorts of cool stuff here if you're playing in fifth edition um, then we have uh, the jump calculator is an option, all right? If your strength is 18, then this is your jump options. Uh, all the party configuration is an example of what we can do, right? Where we can have the drop-down options for party travel methods and all this sort of stuff, you know? Do you have horseshoes of uh, speed? And it will basically modify that. And then you can come down here and say, all right, I wanna order a transport service through uh, a relatively safe area. Uh, it's not a familiar route. We've got four parties in the group and we want to have a poor lifestyle while we do it. So, you know, it's 2.4 gold per person. All right, there are some really cool things that you can do with obsidian.md. Now, that's deep end of the rabbit hole. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. Some of this stuff is pretty advanced. Don't jump into this stuff straight away. As I said before, what I recommend you do is you come here to Obsidian TTRPG Tutorials and you come through Get Started and then you move on to Plugin Tutorials, all right? While you're there, come through to Community and Support and here's where you can find where the rest of the community is hiding, all right? So the most active place to find help and support for Obsidian uh, as a TTRPG or world builder, um, our community hides in this Discord server. So jump in here. Uh, there's an Obsidian official Discord server as well with way more people in there, but they're covering all sorts of different categories of usage, like education, note-taking, science, bookworks, all that sort of stuff. 
Um, there is a Facebook group, not as active as our Facebook used to be, it's dying out. Um, and of course, if you would like to uh, support me by a Patreon, there is a link here for that as well. Uh, just a reminder that if you would like access to my T TTRPG vault, which is like the foundation vault, um, which basically has all these bits and pieces built for you and ready for you to use, all right, you can support me by Patreon and you get access to this uh, straight away. Um, but outside of that, guys, uh, this is a really excellent community of users. All right, they're supporting each other. They're making uh, plugins. If someone comes along and has an idea, we can actually create that idea all right, ourselves and we can do some fantastic things. Very, very, very amazing community. I love them to death. Um, they're, they're so active and helpful with all the new users. So jump in here, especially to the community Discord. Engage with that community and ask for help if you need it. All right. Um, because we can help you learn this tool in a very efficient way. There's lots of really cool things you can do to get up and running very, very, very quickly. All right, outside of that, guys, that has been the intro video for 2024. Hopefully you've seen what obsidian.md can do for you in terms of campaign management or world management. Hopefully it's uh, given you a bit of an idea of you know, what you can potentially do with it yourself. And don't forget, it's a free tool, right? You can install this on your computer or you can install it on your uh, mobile device and you can have your notes self-hosted yourself. You don't need to pay a subscription service to use this tool, all right? You can, all right, this Obsidian Publish, for example, I'm paying a subscription service to have web-based functionality, but I could do that for free using a tool like GitHub, for example, all right? It's just that it's usually easier to pay if you want to do something like this. But the actual tool is free to use. You don't need to pay a subscription. You can be in there keeping track of your notes and making your games and your world more efficient to manage. All right, and that's what this is all about. It's just making your games easier to manage. And Obsidian.md, it does that for me. So anyway, my name's Josh Blunkett. If you would like to learn how to use Obsidian.md to improve your TTRPG games, then head on over to www.obsidianttrpgtutorials.com and let's get this journey started.